welcome to Chemcos Academy. So we were discussing bio inorganic topics. So let's see oxygen transport protein, heme erythrin and hemocyanin. So one of the oxygen transport protein is hemoglobin that we already discussed. So let's move on to heme erythrin first. So heme erythrin is a non-heme oxygen binding pigment. Non-heme means it doesn't contain a heme group. And what is a heme group? A porphyrin ring which contain iron as a central metal atom. So we already discussed porphyrin ring. So I hope you know that. So porphyrin ring is a four pyrrole ring uh, connected through methane bridge, double bond, CH bond. So this heme ethylene doesn't contain a heme group. That is called a non-heme protein which bind O2, dioxygen. And these are seen in marine invertebrates. So in marine uh, organisms, the heme erythrin is formed and the main function is oxygen transportation that we know. In hemoglobin also the function was oxygen transportation. So heme erythrin is a non-heme pigment which transport oxygen in marine invertebrates. And the active site is iron atom. Uh, it doesn't contain a heme group but the active metal atom is iron in plus 2 oxidation state. And one more thing, two Fe atoms are present in uh, heme erythrin. In hemoglobin, four heme group was present, and in myoglobin, one heme group. In heme erythrin, it doesn't contain a heme group, and it can form as deoxy and oxy forms, reduced and oxidized forms. So uh, one will be plus two, and another one will be plus three oxidation state. We can see that. So heme erythrin contains two Fe atoms. It is seen in marine invertebrates and the function is oxygen transportation. So let's move on to the structure of deoxy and oxy forms of heme erythrin. So moving on to structure of heme erythrin in deoxy form first. So deoxy form. So heme erythrin contains two Fe atoms. So first write one Fe atom, then 3N histidine, N histidine, nitrogen of histidine, then oxygen, then carbon, then again oxygen, then second Fe atom. Now again draw like this oxygen, carbon, oxygen, and this is connected to Fe atom. And here what happens? OH. And this is connected to Fe atom. And these two F here, two N history. And the uh, difference between these two Fe atom is one have six coordination and this have only five coordination site. One, two, three, four, five. And here one, two, three, four, five, six. Six coordination site is present in this Fe atom. And this carbon is connected to, first carbon is connected to glutamic acid. And the second carbon is connected to aspartic acid. That is the difference between these two carbons. One is connected to glutamic acid and another one is connected to aspartic acid. And the coordination number is 6 for this Fe and for this 5. And the oxidation state of deoxy form is plus 2 plus 2 oxidation state. So coordination number is 6 and 5. Oxidation state is plus 2 and this Fe is in high spin state. High spin. So deoxy form, the coordination is 6 and 5 and oxidation number is plus 2 and this Fe is in high spin state. And the magnetic character for this deoxy form is paramagnetic. Paramagnetic. Magnetic. So, how to write the structure of deoxy form? First, two Fe atom, one have six coordination state and another have two coordination site. Two N histidine, five coordination site in total. So, in first Fe, uh, three N histidine, two oxygen, and again a OH. Here also, one OH is common, then two oxygen, and these. Two carbons are connected to two amino acid. One is 
to glutamic acid and another one is converted to aspartic acid. So coming to oxyphone, the only difference in structure is uh, O2 is binding to here, this Fe. So first you write this Fe, N histidine, histidine, histidine. And same like this oxygen, carbon, oxygen, iron. Again oxygen, carbon, oxygen and this is connected to this iron. Here also two histidine. And this is connected to glutamic and this is connected to aspartic. And here OH. And this is connected to here. And here uh, O2 is binding. O2 is binding to this ion atom. So the coordination number will be 6 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here also 6. So the coordination number is both 6. For both iron atom it is 6. And the spin of the complex is low spin complex. Low spin. And the magnetic character is anti-ferromagnetic. Anti-ferromagnetic. And the oxidation state of iron is here plus 2. So it will be plus 3. It is in oxy 4. Plus 3. Oxidized state of oxy 4 of heme erythrin is plus 3 for both iron atom. So D in deoxy 4, the coordination number is 6 and 5. Oxidation state is plus 2. High spin paramagnetic. In oxy form, uh, O2 is binding to one of the ion atom. Uh, both is in plus 3 oxidation state, low spin complex and anti-ferromagnetic character. So these are the differences between deoxy and oxy heme erythrin. So next we will move on to hemocyanin. Now we can see another oxygen transport protein that is hemocyanin. So the name indicates that it contains heme group and cyanate. But it's not the truth. It neither contains heme group nor a cyanate. But uh, it is a non-heme protein. And the main function is oxygen transportation. It contains copper metal atom, not cyanate. And due to this confusing name, it is called as blue protein or blue blood. And these are seen in invertebrates like arthropoda and mollusca. And the function is oxygen carrying. So, hemocyanin doesn't contain a heme group nor a cyanide group. It contains copper metal atom. And we will see the structure. And it is commonly called as blue blood or blue protein. Because it will give uh, in oxygenated form, it will give blue color. So, that's why it is called blue blood or blue protein. And we have seen blue copper proteins in a previous video. So, the function is oxygen transportation or oxygen carrier. That is the function of hemocyanin. Now, we can see the structure of deoxy and oxy form of hemocyanin. The structure of hemocyanin in deoxy form or reduced form is this 2 copper atom in plus 1 oxidation state. These copper atoms are in plus 1 oxidation state in deoxy form, reduced form. So, it contains 3 histidine each copper atom contains three histidine groups which are interlinked to each other and this copper atom is in plus one oxidation state. So how to write the structure of hemocyanin in deoxy form? First you write two copper atom and these bond is 460 picometer. This bond is 460 picometer and three histidine atom in one copper and these are interlinked bonded together and these two histidine are, are also bonded, here also bonded. So each copper atom contains three histidine groups and the oxidation state of copper atom is plus one in deoxy form. And another character is diamagnetic. It is diamagnetic because its configuration is D10. So it is diamagnetic and it is colorless. Because no DD transition is possible in D10 configuration. So, hemocyanin in reduced form or deoxy form is colorless and it shows diamagnetic character and the different
distance between copper 1 copper 1 is 460 picometer and coming to oxy form the only difference is a uh, dioxygen is binding to copper atom so a uh, dioxygen is binding to these two copper atom that's the only difference and three histidine groups are present for each copper atom and the oxidation state is plus 2 plus 2 for two copper atom and copper copper distance copper 2 oxidation state copper 2 and copper 2 distance is 360 picometer this distance is 360 picometer which is shorter than copper 1 distance that of deoxy form and in oxy form it shows anti-ferromagnetic character anti-ferromagnetic character for oxy form of hemocyanin and in hemocyanin oxy form of hemocyanin it shows blue color while deoxy form is colorless that's why it is called blue blood or blue protein so in oxy form O2 is binding oxidation state is plus 2 and distance is uh, the bond distance of copper 2 and copper 2 is 360 picometer anti-ferromagnetic character and blue color so that's about hemocyanin the deoxy and oxy form of hemocyanin we have discussed two important oxygen transport protein that is heme erythrin and hemocyanin. In heme erythrin there is no heme group. Both are non-heme protein. And in hemocyanin also there is no cyanide, only copper metal atom. In heme erythrin the central metal atom is iron. And we have seen deoxy and oxy form of heme erythrin and hemocyanin. So I hope you all understand. So we will see another bioinorganic topic in our next video.